Good morning, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien on the morning of Monday, March 7th, 2021. Sitting in for Paul Harvey this morning on a special commentary. And Mr. Harvey upstairs, this is a commentary that's got to be done because I don't understand the people here. And they would probably upset you and I know you didn't like to get upset too much on the radio but for this I'm doing a commentary both for me and you to the American and the human people here okay so here it goes and you and the boss pardon my commentary okay well Americans and fellow humans sitting in for Paul Harvey today this is your favorite alien and I would like to understand why your American media, especially Fox, CNN, and MSNBC, CNN especially, why are you showing that video of people getting killed by the Russians? Uh, it shouldn't make any difference. If you understand war, and honestly, I don't think any of you, your governments, either the European Union, the United States, or any government in the West understands war. Putin does. War is stopped for only two reasons. One, you want to annihilate the person that you're driving you crazy and you're declaring war on. And two, the person that uh, you're, tr you're trying to destroy, in this case the Ukrainians, want to do everything in their power to survive. Whether as a race, as a people, or as a nation. And the Russians want to destroy them as a race and as a nation. Eliminate them from the face of the earth. The territory's been there before them, and it'll be there after them. Gee, Russians, that applies to you too. The territory was there before you, and it'll be there after you. Same with the Americans and the Europeans. You had the Neanderthal before you, you who? Uh, yeah, remember that? And before them? Well, the dinosaurs were probably in Europe. Maybe. But you see what I mean. And to you, American uh, news media, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, and the rest... I say, war is messy. War is well, two things. One, you want to kill the person, and you want to annihilate them. Two, the person that you're trying to annihilate wants to survive. That's the only reason you got war between two parties. One's trying to survive, one's trying to annihilate. There is no such thing as civilians, non-combatants, and... Oh, well, we got to stop the war because we got to get rid of the civilians and get them free passage to there. Yeah, really? Name me a war that that ever happens in. If you were the Greeks and you were the uh, Persians, would you say, hey, you who, can we put a stop to this while uh, we uh, go there? Or how about the English and the uh, French doing their Napoleonic Wars? Uh, it's five or four o'clock here. It's tea time. The Duke of Wellington wants some time for tea here. Yoo-hoo! See what I mean? So Putin, you call him a butcher. He's just fighting war the way it's supposed to be. That's why war is meant to not to be avoided, but not to be sought. You can't avoid war. You can't have peace. Peace is just a little time. War is just a little time. When you go out in the universe, and there's civilizations that practice this. The Mushka, they're a wartime. They're a war 24-7, 365. Can you handle war 27, uh, 24-7, 365 humans? Really? Total war? Where you only last maybe 10 minutes and then they annihilate you and take over whatever they want? Or sometimes they just annihilate the planet just to say that you're not there. And the planet suffers because they don't want anybody else to have it. 
So what does the Russians want once they get Ukraine? Even if they annihilate the entire 40 million population, what are they going to do with the territory? It's already irradiated. You got a lot of nuclear power in there. Just melt it down and irradiate it. But then again, you irradiate yourself. So this is what I don't understand. Teach the people what war is. And there's no such thing as civilians. And you see people coming from the buses and, oh, the men's, the kids, are, are, they're going to go across the border to Poland and we got to find a safe haven for them. There is no safe haven in war. Because wherever they go, you've seen people there that went from Afghanistan to there or somebody else to there, and now they got to flee there. You go to Poland, well, if uh, Putin is successful, Poland's next on the list. And then the Americans. Where are you guys going to go if somebody attacks your country like they're attacking Ukraine? And you haven't been attacked in 200 years. Not since the... Uh, Confederates went into the north as in Gettysburg and Antietam. Yoo-hoo! Uh, yeah. The closest you ever been was the Japanese invading the Aleutian Islands in Kiska. Mm. Yeah, right, huh? See what I mean, Americans? You're not even prepared for war. And war is something that you want to look at it and say, it's coming. And you can see it coming. It's got its winds. The winds of war. You saw this coming five years ago. Putin, when he invaded Crimea, wanted more than Crimea, and he told you that. He's been telling you that for the last 20 years. And instead of making Ukraine, if you wanted it to survive, you had two choices with Ukraine. Out to hell with it, that you belong to Russia, so let them deal with you. Well, you didn't take that path. Oh, well, let's try to make you democratic and then we'll dangle the uh, NATO and the EU on you. We won't make you members because, hey, we don't think you deserve to be members. Uh, yeah, really. So you see, Americans and humans, this is what I'm saying. It's on you. World War III is here whether you like it or not. It'll be on your doorstep today, tomorrow, or the next week. But soon, it'll be on your doorstep. By December 31st, 2022, you'll be at war with Russia. I would say as, as early as May 1st, 2022. And why? Because of your stupid way of looking at things. And you proved it with your CNN, Fox, NMSNBC, and other news outlets reporting war like you are. This is your favorite alien sitting in for Paul Harvey. War is only meant for two things. One, you want to destroy a person, and two, you want to survive being destroyed. And that is it. There is no civilians. There is no, uh, we got to uh, stop and have a corridor for civilians to get out, non combatants. There is no non combatants in war. Once you declare war, you are open as the nation that's declaring it, and you are open as a nation that's getting attacked. So you're going to get dead, or the people over there that declared the war are responsible for the war. Not only the government, but the people. Because you allowed your government, for one way or another, to declare war. Therefore, you should be erased from the face of the planet. Good day.